what's going on guys, Ghost here, and I am bringing you guys a quick installation tutorial for the Better Survival Mod Pack. Now this is a pretty straightforward mod pack, but I noticed that a lot of people have been having issues with it. So I'm going to try and cover as much as I can, uh, problems, what you can do to solve the problems, and just the common issues as quickly as possible, cut straight to the point, uh, no filler. Now, uh, for this demonstration, I'm using a completely clean Minecraft directory, and by this, I mean I've deleted everything. My Minecraft directory is completely empty, I have nothing in it, it's no jar, nothing. Now, for this video, we're currently using the newest version of the Better Survival Client, which is 1.2.0. So... Once you've went ahead and downloaded that, the first thing you're going to do is you're most likely going to have a RAR archive. Now, for me, it's going to be WinRAR for you. It may be something else, um, 7-Zip, etc. You're going to go ahead and open this up, and you're going to have the Better Survival Client. Now, what you're going to want to do, I've already done this, is you're going to click on this, and you're going to drag it out. You're going to drag it onto your desktop. Now, we're done in the RAR file. We can close that down. Now, you're going to open up the Better Survival Client. You're going to want to click this jar. Now, if you have an issue with this, or you get a java.io uh, file not found exception.log what you're going to do is you're going to right click the file click on properties then change the default program to open it with java instead of winrar because sometimes these can default to being open with winrar now you can click on the installer and everything will work fine uh, if you do get a java exception occurred I have this you need to actually ex extract it from the raw file it won't work if you do otherwise and if you do get a blue screen on startup or uh, other issues with the IDs what you need to do is you need a clean dot minecraft jar now before we even do that if you don't know how to get to your minecraft directory what you're going to need to do is you're going to go down to your start your taskbar here you're going to go over to start and in the search programs you're going to type percentage app data app data percentage then you're going to click on the roaming file here you're going to go to dot minecraft and here's where everything will be you'll have a bin you'll have a jar uh, etc you'll have save texture pack screenshots and so on now the best thing to do is you're going to want to delete this because just because you may have a what you think is a fresh jar doesn't mean you don't have old mods that could still be in there which could conflict with the mod pack. So for the best thing you do is to set your saves aside. I suggest putting it in a, mis a miscellaneous folder or maybe just make a new folder. Just hit uh, right click new folder and make it backups etc. Like I have a couple of them and you're going to make a backup. I suggest taking your saves, text rec screenshots, whatever you want to save and dragging them into that folder and then wiping everything so we're going to go ahead we're going to log in here and as you can see totally new everything we're downloading everything completely new we're going to start up minecraft for the first time and boom here we go we're all good uh everything's good so we're going to go ahead and be done with that close this down here for a second and we're going to open the better survival client we're going to click this once again we're going to go to properties right click on it if you do have an issue go to properties and make sure that uh the default opens with you're going to click on change if it's not if it's winrar or seven zip and not java you're going to want to change to java so make sure that's complete if you're having issues we're going to go ahead and click on this now you're going to click install for the meta inf which is going to pop up do you want to delete the meta inf yes for these you do not need mod loader and audio as it's not used anymore so you're going to say no and no there will be a new uh installer out soon but as of right now you're just going to hit no it's going to do a little bit of cleaning up and boom we're done now uh, there is no OK button or anything, so don't feel bad for hitting the X. That's okay. It's what you're supposed to do. I know it's a bit confusing because you can't, can't click on done, and you feel if you hit X, maybe you're going to screw something up. That's completely okay. Close out of this. Go over to your Minecraft. Load it up. Re-enter your password, unless you have a password on. You know, put all your login info in. You're going to have to see this. FML. This is Forge Mod Loader. It's going to download some files it's going to need. It's going to validate itself. And now it will take a little bit. Don't be too worried. Forge does have a lot going on. And there's a lot of mods in this pack. So it's going to take a few minutes for it to load up. So you're done. We'll go to single player. Create a new world real quick. We will create a creative world just to show you guys that it is indeed working once again don't be worried if it takes a while to build terrain or if you get a bunch of screen flashes it's completely normal so as you can see we are definitely completely right here's all the new armor the new weapons you can hear the birds in the background uh etc so that's pretty much it guys if you have any problems at all please be sure to let me know be sure to put them in the comment section down below and i will try and help you but most likely you're just gonna need to rewatch this video and figure out what you did wrong so 
that's all for this video, guys. I hope it helped. Uh, if it didn't, once again, let me know in the comments what your issue is. And I will see you guys all on the next video. So uh, be sure to comment, like. If this helped you, please drop a like, guys. Remember, the best way to help out YouTubers is to drop a like on our videos. It helps a lot more than you think. So if you guys would drop a like down there, it would be much appreciated, guys. Be sure to subscribe for daily videos. And uh, if you guys need anything, just let me know. So ghost out, GG, guys. And I will see you guys all on my next video.